Okay, this is exercise one, project one. You are to draw 150 cubes minimum in space. What you want to try to do is create a perfect cube, but you are not going to sacrifice perfection for uh, time. You've got to work fast because more is best. So you try to do a perfect cube, but if you don't get it right, you move on to the next one and try to improve. As you can see in some of the examples that, that I drew here in this particular test sample, some of the cubes that went too long, I shortened them up, I changed the proportions, but not ever spending too much time. What you're looking to do is to try to create a spatial illusion of depth. So you want to create very small cubes in the distance, almost disappearing into the horizon line, and you want to draw cubes uh, middle and foreground, and as they start coming towards you, um, they look larger so that you're creating this spatial reality uh, just by constructing cubes at different scale and in different place in the perspective of the drawing. Try to turn your cubes around and create different positions. Flow them together. Try to create movement. If you notice uh, on one of the cubes where I drew a little uh, satellite intersection in red, that is the X, Y, Z axis that exists within all forms. Being able to draw that in space so that it looks uh, correct in terms of perspective uh, will allow you to create any basic form, a sphere, cylinder, cones, and ultimately that X, Y, Z axis, as you understand how to use it, will allow you to accurately connect for various forms, okay? Very important that you, you understand it. Very important that you see through the cubes so that you understand how to find that X, Y, Z uh, axis. And very important um, that you can do it quickly. So you can see now I'm filling up the page, right? More is best, 150 minimum. What I will really want to see is just a massive amount of cubes all floating in space from different positions. Bird's eye view, worm's eye view, uh, three quarter, uh, you know, three, three sided view, two sided view, one sided view uh, on the cube. You know, remember that um, on a two dimensional drawing, you can only see three sides of a cube maximum and one side minimum depending on the point of view of the, uh, uh, of the viewer and where your vanishing point is on the horizon line. You can see here, some of them have three point perspective, two point perspective, one point perspective. This is me uh, basically trying to create the illusion of, of perfect cubes uh, in space in different perspective views quickly so that I create the illusion. Once you do that, your homework will be to select your light, dark, and core shadows, right? And establish a three-dimensional lighting scheme. When you've done that, select the light source. You can see in my case, I think this, the light source is coming from the above left. And the first thing that I'm doing is I'm, I'm putting in the light tone on all the light tone surfaces that I think are getting hit with the light first. You want to do this and get it completely done. This is the most efficient and fastest way to work. Then you go back and you get your mid-tone and you put the mid-tone everywhere uh, that you believe the mid-tone would be relative to the position of the light. Very important <clears throat> that you don't waste time uh, just meditating on, on you know, one single cube or, or fussing over the lighting system. 
you've got to get this drawing done in 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 three hours minimum that you know maximum that's the idea going over uh three hours really defeats the purpose of drawing quickly right um you know speed is god and it's very important that you develop this muscle more important to develop the muscle of speed than focus on precision of execution the execution will come as you continue to repeat and repeat through repetition the quality will catch up now you can see i'm starting to put in the dark tone so my light source has obviously established itself from the upper left now i'm just cutting through and and hitting all of the surfaces that i believe to have a dark tone uh, with that value very quickly Once I've completed the uh, core shadow, I am going to look to apply the cast shadow. Now watch very carefully how the spatial uh, illusion becomes even more enhanced once there is a cast shadow. The cast shadow, although it might appear unpredictable, you must attempt to try to figure it out and apply it. 